Let's be honest, most people don't fail exams because they didn't study. They fail because they didn't remember. Studying isn't enough. You need to encode information in a way your brain can retrieve under pressure. And that's exactly where memory techniques come in. So here's how we use our memory skills to nail any test or any exam. Step one, use the method of loci, AKA the memory palace. Take what you're trying to learn, whether it's a list of terms, steps in a process, or parts of an essay, and place each item in a specific location in an imaginary place, or a real one that exists in your head, but so long as you know it well. Your house, your walk to school, your favorite cafe, whatever you like. And as you mentally walk through that space, the items come back to you in order because your brain is wired for location-based recall. It's how memory athletes recall decks and decks of cards. So if you're trying to use uh, uh, mnemonics and acronyms, like you're trying to memorize something dry, for example, homes, not Sherlock, Homes, as in multiple houses. You can use homes as an acronym to remember the Great Lakes. Huron, Ontario, Michigan, Erie, Superior. Connect them together, but homes would have to connect to the lake's imagery. Otherwise, homes is just something where the first, it's like an acrostic from a, a, from a riddle. Homes itself as the acronym would need to connect to lakes, so the mnemonics are there. Or you can turn formulas into weird sentences. The weirder it is, the easier it is to recall. You can use the link method for lists or, or, or processes. If you need to remember a sequence of events or a sequence of concepts, link them together using visual association. If you imagine Newton juggling apples and each apple is a law of motion, when you recall the image, the information follows. Step four, active recall and spaced repetition. Don't reread your notes. Quiz yourself without looking again and again, spaced over a few days. And each time your brain struggles to recall, it strengthens the memory. The best way to know if you really understand something, try explaining it out loud to someone else or, or, or just yourself in the mirror. If you can teach it clearly, you've learned it deeply. So here's the challenge. Take one subject you're studying and apply just one of these methods to it. See how fast it sticks. Then imagine what happens when you combine all four in your memory and you ace exams. You study like it's working with your brain, not against it.